Hi, I'm Deb Watson, and today I want to show you the best materials you can use for black and white in watercolor. Most tube blacks are opaque and muddy, so let's mix our own. Start with paint right from the tube. Don't add water. Just mix it together and test it on scrap paper. If it's too blue or too brown, add more of the other color and keep mixing until you get the perfect black. When your black is mixed, you can scoop it up and put it in your palette and you're set. This black, both the colors granulate, so it works well for anything that's gray and it works well for trees and rocks. Black number two, you can mix a dark green and a dark red to get a black. In this case, I'm using a green called Perlin Green, which is almost black by itself. The dark green and dark red may or may not stain. It depends on which colors you use. So mix yours up and test it on some scrap paper. Neither of these colors granulate. So it tends to make a very smooth blend that's good for portraits. And the green color makes it extremely good for work with landscapes that are green. The third red black is the one I use the most often. It uses thalo blue and raw umber violet. Check out my lesson online on the watercolor school for more information. The reason I use this color is that these colors glow. They're very transparent, and it's easy to make a glossy blue-black or a very rich dark brown. And you can see the raw umber violet by itself is worth having on your palette. Now I'm going to put these three blacks on and out of order so you can see if you can tell a difference. All three of these mixes were made with professional grade paints. So they're all a rich dark black. Although they look a lot the same, you should pick the mix that best matches your subject or your palette. Now let's look at white. I recommend a white that professional illustrators use. It's called Pro White by De La Roni. This is a new jar and sometimes it comes with a little liquid in the top, which I just pour out and it's ready to use. This is an older one which is getting hard. So about once a month or so, I'll take a brush and stir it up. If you add a few drops of water, use bottled water so you don't introduce any contaminants. The reason I like this white so well is that it will cover in one stroke. Most of the other whites dry and disappear and have to be applied several times. But this one covers well. So that's black and white in watercolor. And I hope it helps you pick the best materials for your paintings. Happy painting.